My name is Elena Dyer and I'm the Chief Operations Officer at Fetex Services Limited. Fetex Services is the English speaking Caribbean's only SAP education delivery partner and SAP is the world's largest business software developer. So basically, if you are trying to get training in any of the modules provided by SAP, you must come to Fetex Services. Um, the biggest headache is maintaining the brand. The biggest headache, and that in itself is a hundredfold. Um, making sure that your customers are happy, making sure that you are providing what they need, making sure that you're convincing them that they need something when you've realized that there is something that they're lacking. So. At the end of the day, they have a budget, your clients have a budget, and they're seeing X, Y, and Z within that budget, but you're seeing, you're seeing A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all within that budget. And sometimes it's very hard to convince an executive team that you don't need, again, ego is a big thing, or budget constraints, or red tape. Um, so that's another headache. Um, managing your human resources, especially when most of your human resources is freelance. So having to deal with personalities from the UK or Latin America or Point Fortin, it is it's really, it's a lot to juggle, but it's fun. You realize for yourself that you can do a lot, a lot more than you give yourself credit, to, credit for. Um, so it's a living. Process. Um, it will depend on who's asking. Let's say, for instance, um, a new graduate um, from university. This is undergrad. So you have, you're going to, let's say, for instance, an oil company. You have, I'm not too sure if it's analysis the same. You have a 4.0 GPA. Someone else comes from a six power college in Atlanta with a four point two GPA. Both of your resumes are in front of the oil and gas HR manager. One has SAP. Even though the most the, the most basic introduction courses um, on their resume, and the other doesn't, they will lean towards. Because at the end of the day, a lot of these corporate clients, their entire platform, IT platform, is SAP. We bring in 10 folks who have no experience. What do we have to do? We have to send them to FUTEC services to get trained. And that will fall on them. That is a brand new cost. That is a, a, a new higher cost. If we have um, solution, if we have places coming in with previous um, SP experience, they will quickly lean towards them. Okay, so on one, one instance, you have new placements, so you're brand new, you should at least do an introduction course. I would say a basic SAP 129, that's the navigation, which walks you through the fields and familiarizes you with the system itself. Um, an existing consultant, let's say um, a competitor of SAP, you're fully certified in that. Um, you expand your portfolio, just like how I'm diversifying myself and diversifying tech services. As a consultant, as an IT professional, IT is so dynamic, it's constantly growing. You need to expand as well. So becoming fully certified makes you a lot more marketable, it gives you a, 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 a leg up above all the other consultants who are just very singular. And um, who else are there? Well, basically, just those two brand new, so entry level, and then you have um, seasoned professionals. You need to get your foot in, so entry level graduates. You need to, to distinguish yourself from 10 clubs and other graduates. And the existing professionals, you need to beef up because you have those young ones coming in there. I would think the first um, it was either Petra Train or Kurgan Airlines. 12 plus years ago, they started using SAP, but all of the oil and gas, um, all of the oil and gas, um, Unit Trust, um, all of CL Financial, 
from oil of the oil and gas. And that's where a lot of these young, like the young engineers or people who deal with material management or finance or controlling, they lean towards our NGCs and Petrotrend and BPPG, as you know, so they all run it on SME. The IT platform runs on SME. Up the islands, we have Bank Holdings, and they do um, Bank Spain, but they also do Pineal Dairy. Um, they have a subsidiary, they have like seven subsidiaries or so. Um, Red Stripe, Armour Resorts, Deep Rock um, um, A lot, like a lot in the islands itself. On a global level, we have companies from NASA all the way to the same McDonald's. So it's quite broad. And again, 2011, everything is so online. We have headhunters who will be calling from looking for, for freelance consultants to place you in companies in Dubai. It's huge in construction. Um, and a lot of folks leave Trinidad and you go there or you have clients right down here who find themselves. I would say do not even think about opening an education delivery partner. That is my territory now. <laughs> um, I would say passion honestly drives being truly passionate about your dream, being mm -hmm. realistic about your dream, um, doing the research. Do not expect to be um, on top of the game as soon as you get in, familiarize yourself with the environment, be able to be up for late hours. You have to put in the work. You can't just be idealistic and expect it to be a better process at first. Otherwise, you would last maybe six months. At the end of the day, it's really about your drive. If you want to drive and force behind it, you need to have people there who aren't just yes men. We need to have um, researched, properly researched um, the market that you're going into. Because I've realized in your head, everything sounds fun. Like this is the best idea, of course it must work. But then when you, you throw the idea out to someone looking on the, on the outside, it, it, they would bring different things to the forefront.